Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, I want to do an updated video on the Scrap Factory Doll Builder. There's been some cool upgrades and some cool new expansion packs, and I want to show those to you. I also wanted to show you how you can mix and match and bring it into the Cricut Design Space or the Silhouette Studio software. Alright, if you go to my website at www.creativeken.blogspot.com, over to the right hand side, there's going to be some icons. You're going to see the Scrap Factory Doll Builder, the Diva Expansion Pack, the Seasons Expansion Pack, and the Brick People Expansion Pack. If you click on any of these links, it's going to bring up more information about that uh, specific product. So for example, if we go into the Scrap Factory Doll Builder, it's going to bring up the Scrap Factory Doll Builder, which is going to give you all the information, the price, and a short video explaining it. The normal price for this is $30, but if you go through my site, you're going to get it for $25. Now, you do need the, the Scrap Factory base program to run any of the expansion packs, so make sure you have this in order to run the expansion packs. With the Scrap Factory base program, you're going to get two body styles, one with toes and one without toes. You're going to get eight boy hairstyles, eight girl hairstyles, eight boy outfits, and eight girl outfits. Also from this page, you're going to see the current expansion packs at the bottom, which is the Brick People, the Seasons, there's a couple expansion packs coming for PPBN Designs, and SusanBlueRobot.com. Now, on my website, if you go down, you're also going to see the current expansion packs. So, Right now, the new expansion pack is the Diva expansion pack. So if we click on that, it's going to bring us to that. With the Diva expansion pack, you're going to get all of these outfits, the purses, the glasses, and even the little dogs. It's a cool new expansion pack, and it's only $10 through my site. You're also going to see the Season expansion pack. And the Season expansion pack is an expansion pack that has uh, swimsuits, it has winter wear, it has rain, it also features some new hairstyles, and some new accessories like an umbrella, some sunglasses, and a little pail. This leads us to our, my favorite expansion pack, which is the Brick People Expansion Pack. Now the Brick People Expansion Pack is going to come with the base body, which is the Brick People body. It's also going to come with 10 different heads with different facial expressions. You also are going to get 10 different tops and 10 different bottoms and some hair pieces. This is by far my favorite expansion pack currently for the doll builder. For $15 on my website you can get this but you do need that base model once again. Alright, so you can either click on the icons to purchase those on my website, or I also have some buy here links that take you directly to purchase the programs. Now, once you have clicked and bought these programs, you're going to download the icon onto your desktop. You can go and click that icon and it's going to bring it up. Now, from your main site, you have a couple different options. If you bought the base program, this is where it's going to take you. You're going to want to click down here on this left hand side to add expansion packs. It's going to show you all of your current expansion packs, but you're able to also come over here and click the expansion pack key that was given to you at the time of the purchase. So here is where you're going to click and put your code right there. You're going to hit add expansion pack and it's going to say key accepted. Once you've done that, you hit go back. You come up here to expansion packs, and this is where you can use all of your expansion packs. So, for example, if I wanted to go to the base set, I'm going to go here, and that's going to bring up my base set model. So it's going to bring up all of the body, all of the outfits, the hair. Now, keep in mind, there's a couple of different body styles. There's no open toes and open toes. This is really important. The reason why is if you select no open toes, it's going to give you... A whole bunch of different accessories and outfits. If I was to select open toes and go to accessories or outfits, as you can see, my choices change. No open toes, look at all the different outfits I have. Open toes, as you can see, my outfits change 
because now I have the little feet here. Now, one of the cool new upgrades for the Scrap Factory is the Mix and Match option. What this does is if that is selected, I can mix and match between certain uh, expansion packs. So I have the Diva set, which is right here. I'm able now to mix and match between all of the, the compatible pieces. So I can go to Body Style, and I can go Open Toes. I can then now select different outfits. If I want to go No Open Toes, Look at all these different outfits that I have now, you guys, because of the mix and match. So I'm no longer restricted within the expansion packs. So I can mix the Scrappy-Doo Divas with the Lego, with the um, Seasons. You can mix and match it all. So let's go ahead and show you... Um, well, let's go and generate one. So I'm going to say No Open Toes. And all you're doing is working from left to right. So next I'm going to select my hairstyle. So I'm going to select Ken. That's a good name. I like it. Then I'm going to go to my outfit. So I could put Ken in anything. No. No. Let's put Ken in. Oh, classy. And then I can choose an accessory. So I could add anything. But I'm going to add some... Cool sunglasses for Ken. Now, once I've selected my body style, my hairstyle, my outfit, and accessories, I can hit generate SVG. So once again, before I do this, guys, don't forget this mix and match options up here. If that's selected, you're going to be able to mix the compatible expansion packs with each other. If it's not selected, it's just going to bring up whatever expansion pack you have selected right here. So as you can see, since I have Scrappy Doo Diva selected, this without the mix and match is just bringing up the Scrappy Doo Diva set. As soon as I hit that mix and match, it's going to let me choose from all of the compatible designs. All right. So now that let's go ahead and select my pieces here again. I just love that mix and match option, you guys. It's awesome. Alright, once I've done that, it's as easy as hitting Generate SVG. It's going to pop up saying, what are you going to save this as? Oh, I'm going to say Ken. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And there it is right there. Alright, once I've done that, I can click out of the Scrap Factory. And then I can bring up whatever design program I want. So Cricut, if you want, are using Design Space with your Explorer, all you have to do is hit Upload Image. It is a vector upload. You're going to go ahead and browse wherever you saved it. So I saved it on my desktop. Hit choose. I can name it whatever I want. I can put my tags. And then I hit save image. It brings it up into design space. So then all I have to do is click down here where it says uploaded images. And then select the image I just uploaded hit insert image, and now I'm able to go ahead and size it. Now, if I want to change my size, I want to make sure that I keep everything grouped, because obviously look at that. I want to make sure everything's grouped within each other. Once I figure it out the size I like, so let's say I like this size, at this point now, I can ungroup this. And you guys, you do want to either do one of two things. You either want to keep the set that's all constructed for you, which is right here, or you want to keep all of your pieces here. If I don't get rid of one of them, I'm going to cut two of everything in design space. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the one that's constructed for me. And then I have all my pieces. Now, some of the questions I've, at, I've gotten asked on Scrap Factory Doll Builder is why are you given so many extra pieces? So if I already have this base set, why do I have all of these sets? The answer is the more layers, the more depth your project has. So if you use shading, especially on ink, you have all these different layers that you can add on to your base set, and it just gives it that much more of a 
uh, a depth to your project. Do you need all the pieces? No, you don't. But I like it because it does give it more depth. It also hides certain pieces. So, for example, if I have this piece here, I'm going to need this headpiece to hide bring that to the front, the top portion of the shirt. You see? All right. So when you are ready, you're able to then just go hit go. It's going to design space is going to automatically figure how many mats you need and then you're able to cut the image. So as you can see here's all the different pieces. Now if you're cutting on eight and a half by eleven like I am you can go ahead and move these around if you don't like where it automatically placed it on your mat. And then when you're ready all you have to do is hit go. All right, so that is Design Space in a Nutshell. Uh, the so other one, before we show you how to import your design into the Silhouette Studio software, I wanted to show you something that I failed to mention. In the Scrap Factory Doll Builder, if you just want to cut a specific piece, you can do that. So what I'm saying is, if you have the scrap, uh, Scrappy Doo Divas, and let's say all you want to cut is this poodle, what you want to make sure is you want to select none for everything else and then just the poodle and hit generate SVG. What this is going to do is it's just going to give you that element. So for example, when I cut this, as you can see, I'm just going to have the poodle. I'm not going to have anything else. All right, so once again, if you just want a specific accessory, you can do that. You can also do this in the uh, Scrappy Doo Seasons. So I had a lot of, of um, followers ask me, hey, if I just want the bucket, you're just going to want to select none on everything else and generate that file. All right, so you can definitely do that by hitting none on everything else and then just the bucket on your accessory. Hit generate SVG and that way your SVG is going to just be that bucket. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to import into the Silhouette Studio software. All right guys, so in the Silhouette Studio software, it's really easy to import these files. My favorite way of doing it is since I saved my file on the desktop, I'm able to just click and drag that right onto my mat. Now, the same thing as in Design Space. You need to make sure that everything is grouped before resizing it because you want to make sure that this is sized in comparison with each other. So if you don't group it, your glasses aren't going to stay in sizing with the face. Once you've found the size you like, you're going to go ahead and get rid of one of the outfits because you don't need two of those. So I'm going to go and get rid of this one. And then we're going to make sure everything's on my mat. Now when I'm ready to cut, I'm going to go ahead and go up to my cut settings. Now, in the new Silhouette Studio software, there is a standard cut mode, which is going to cut like normal. So you're going to have to move the pieces off the mat, move them back onto the mat, or there's a new advanced. So the advanced one, what's nice is you can cut it by fill color. So what this is going to do is it's going to break your cuts down by the fill color. So the nice thing about the Scrap Factory Doll Builder is it does the coloring for you. So it says here's your skin color, here's your blacks, here's your glasses, here's your outlines, no colors. So if I do this and I send it to my silhouette, it's going to cut it by the fill color. And it's as easy as that, you guys. That is the Scrap Factory Doll Builder in a nutshell. I love this program. Absolutely love it. Um, so make sure you check it out at my blog at creativeken.blogspot.com. Purchase it by going to the links over to the right-hand side and have fun with it. Mix and match and just go crazy with it. Make your designs as cute as possible as weird and crazy as possible, and just have fun with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. All of the links 
to all of the expansion packs and the Scrap Factory doll builder are going to be in the comments section down below in the description. So if you don't want to go over to my site, you can definitely just go to the links in the description and purchase it straight from this video. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.